Good morning, everybody. This is Molly. How are y'all doing? I've got a quick haul I want to share with y'all. And uh, oh my gosh, I love some of the stuff. Some of the stuff I'm thinking, hmm, I could have lived without it. But most of it I love. Okay, quick, quick, quick like a bunny. Um, Tuesday morning, I finally bought these stickers. I've been looking at them for a long time and I finally bought them because I'm doing some layouts with my husband's birthday pictures from when he was a little boy, which is a many a year ago, and my son. I bought these two embossing folders sets uh beachy looking to me looks like mermaid scales and waves and this is uh, you are my sunshine i don't even use the embossing folders i have now but these called to me they were 3.99 each the other thing i bought from tuesday morning was this paper i don't know if y'all know but like tuesday morning has great little packs of paper this was a dollar day night for 10 sheets it's kaiser craft great background paper and then, one of the last things I bought from Tuesday morning was I bought just about every pack our Tuesday morning had of these uh, tacky dots. They're from Eileen, if that's how you pronounce it right. They were, say, originally $5.99 on for $1.99. And what I like about them, I bought a couple of packs, and I went back and bought some more, and I've gone back and bought the rest, is uh, they release from the paper real well. You know, some of the other brands... Um, you stick your thing on them and you go to pull the sticky dot off and all that happens is part of your flower or paper or whatever stays on the sticky dot on the you know runner. These, the sticky dots release from the paper real easy and they seem to hold very well. So, great buy. Bought all this. Okay, now the next thing is I had bought a Misty Stamper. If y'all know what that is, that's the little... Um, kind of book-like thing you put your stamp in the lid closes and it makes makes you sure you double stamp well you can triple stamp if you want to and all so I was thinking of selling all my stamps and then I fell in love with them again because of that misty tool I love it I bought mine from Ozak, uh, o -O -Z -A -K com. Uh, great price free shipping and since then I bought some tape and stuff from them best prices I can find on the web anyway but these are some uh, from Blitzy some dies I bought recently from Bow Bunny. Weren't those darling? They were on sale on Blitzy. I love snowflakes. I hope the glare is not too bad. This one is from the uh, Bow Bunny, that prayer or faith collection. Thought it was pretty. And then this, I think, is one of my favorite ones. It's owls and feathers and birds, and it's kind of like a collage look. Can you imagine just watercoloring, you know, embossing that with clear embossing powder or black embossing powder, and then watercoloring around it will be darling. And then I bought this set of leaves from Bow Bunny fall my favorite time of the year and then I bought this stamp it's from uh do crafts from blitzy but it was a do craft stamp and I love it it's a big soft thing comes in its own little binder folder and I love that you know you can stamp here you can stamp here it looks like you got 10 different stamps depending on where you use it and I'll probably won't use the that part too much but I love the gears the hand and all that so those are my stamping purchases now that um Let's see, I'm going to do Hobby Lobby next because it was a small purchase but exciting. I think this is the second thing I've ever bought regular price from Hobby Lobby. These were little stickers for fall, $1.99. Of course, the next day, their Sunday ad came out and all the, this fall stuff was on sale 40% off. But for $2 each, yeah, you know what, I saved a little bit. But I just love them. Okay, and then the other thing that was at uh, Hobby Lobby that I bought, uh, I had been looking online at some... A Sizzik, a Sizzik sale somewhere but uh, you know it takes a while to get that stuff in and all and these were at Hobby Lobby cheaper they were on the sale on the uh, internet store they were on uh, for $11.99 these were $8.99 and it's the Tim Holtz uh, snowman and Christmas tree and I love the dies if you never use the stamps the dies are great but the stamps are incredible too so I love these Tim Holtz things $8.99 a piece says originally $24.99. Okay, I did buy this Anna Griffin stickers from uh, Hobby Lobby. It's cats. Y'all know I have cats. Okay, anyway, so that's Hobby Lobby. Now we're going to jump into Anna Griffin or HSN and show you what I bought. I bought the Mink Machine originally from HSN long ago. It came in. I bought it, you know, it's on sale for $99. Let me start putting this here. On for $99 and I returned it the minute it arrived because I decided I would never use it um, and you know it was a hundred and something dollars after shipping and handling and taxes and all and I was like oh that's ridiculous six inches wide I returned it well recently they ran it for $39.99 or $39.95 or whatever their prices are $39 anyway um, so I thought what the heck I'll buy it again because the laminator I was using was not doing a good job getting full coverage 
So with the laminator for $39.99, $40, you get uh, five colors of foil. And it was this beautiful green. Oh gosh, I hope it's not shiny. And uh, a pretty rose gold, a pinkish color, silver and gold. And then you got some sheets of glitter. And you got a bunch, two packs each. I'm just showing you one pack. This ephemera, these borders and background papers, this little bit of ephemera. So you get two of these, two of these, two of these. So a lot of stuff to laminate. Instructions, glitter. And then you get a few sheets of the toner paper. Just solid toner paper that you can cut or whatever. Now, the coverage is better. It definitely stays warm longer. Uh, it was only a six inch opening. But I did still have the same problem of it leaving, I don't think you'll be able to see it on here, of it leaving little black dots everywhere. There was a couple right here, so I just made a card real quick. But if you can see, I laminated this with the green foil. This was laminated with, the, you know, foiled with the green color. And then that leads us to the stickers from Anna Griffin. I bought this pack of stickers. Now, I took them out and I can't get them all back in. So, it is called, let's see, let me read real quick. Uh, Favorite Flowers 2. It's 120 stickers. And it is loaded, jam-packed with flowers. Now, they're planar. Um, she calls them vector printed, uh, meaning you and I could do them on a computer. But anyway, um, they are beautiful uh, flowers. And as you can see, it's a ton of them. Now, I have not even begun to use all the Anna Griffin flowers I have in my uh, closet but here's more to add to the pile and I love that it was some blues and yellows and purples and all versus just all the pinks if you can see all the different flowers geraniums and morning glories and yellow roses and stuff so I bought that and I think it was like $21 $22 I'm not sure okay the next thing I want to show you sorry I'm going fast and fast and breathless here don't want to take up too much of your time uh, Crafter's Companion, that sweet girl named Sarah, had some dies, and you got three dies, and I think they were $24.95, $24.99, something like that, and they're a pair, so you get two in this kit, two in this one, and two in this one, and they're beautiful corner dies. Here they are all out of the packages, I just put them on a sheet of magnet, but here they are, like here's, you know, I cut this one, let's see, hold on, hold on, hold on, that's that one, isn't that beautiful, I love it, okay, and then... Here's this one, and I messed up when I was cutting and didn't get it straight on all four corners, so I just chunked off a corner piece so you could see it. There's that one. And then, I love this one. Now, it's beautiful any time of the year, but I said I'm definitely going to use it on Halloween layouts. It's got that kind of spooky look to it to me. Um, but anyway, so those are pretty dies. Good value, $24.99 for three sets of two dies each. Okay, the next thing from HSN, Anna Griffin. Okay. This is the, hold on, Charlotte collection. And it's brighter and pretty and floral and I love it. And you get two packs of ephemera. I hope the shine is not too bad. I'm gonna tilt them up. So loads of ephemera, some with gold foiling and all. Just real pretty pieces. Now I have a lot of Anna Griffin packs in my closet, in my shelves. And I do use her stuff quite a bit. But boy, I got tons of it. But I, here's more, you know, kind of thing. So I've got those. It comes with two packs of stickers. I love these flowers. Oh my gosh. And then these stickers. Great sayings for cards. I do more scrapbooking than cards. But, um, huh, what you gonna do? That's what she sends you. But anyway, cute, bright colored cards, pretty flowers. And then here's the paper. I don't remember how many sheets you get. But what I like about it, let me see if I can separate it. You get cardstock weight and then the lighter weight. See, so here it is in the lighter weight and here it is in the cardstock, which is great for scrapbooking, card making, whatever. So you get two sheets of each in each of the weights. So here's the light floral print. I don't think my hands are going to want to play right this morning. The light pretty floral print. Oh my gosh, isn't that stunning? Stunning. Let me turn it like that. Hold on. Let me turn it the right way to you. Sorry about that, Shia. Uh Pretty floral, kind of a light pink background. A pretty lavender that'll go with a lot of papers I already have from her and I needed a near solid. I love, I love this paper. The whole kit was $39.95, so $40. I think I bought it for these two sheets of paper. Um, kind of expensive paper there, huh? Okay, and then the same thing. You know, she calls these near solids kind of thing. I love using these kind of prints. And look, a pineapple. How cute and timely is that? It's darling. Black and white, great. Uh, and then she's got foil papers, this pretty turquoise. She's got that in the pink color. I uh, love it. 
Now, I was almost at Hobby Lobby. They have a pack in there, Hot Buys, you know, they're going to sell for $5, that had this kind of foil paper in it. And I almost bought that stack and didn't. $5, $5. But instead, I bought this Anna Griffin kit for $40. How good Lord. But anyway, uh, so that, I love these foils. There's that. And then she's got a soft gray. I'm making a mess. Hold on. And a lavender. And then you start over with the lightweights. So I love it. It's Charlotte, $30, $40, let's say, for the kit. And uh, I love it. Okay, now, last but certainly not least. Um, oh, wait, I'm saying last but not least. I got a couple of other things. Sorry. I did buy some stamps from her. And I apologize. I should have run some sam printed some samples of these or stamped some samples. You get two. Um, it was her border dies. I mean, her border stamps. They are way too expensive. They went on sale a little bit cheaper, still too expensive, but I bought them because I've been eyeing them for so long I just couldn't go another day without them. Anyway, you get these two grids, so it shows you where to put the corner piece and where to put the stamp. And what they are is three sheets, you can see I've already used some, uh, of border stamps where you can make endless borders if you want to and they come with the corner pieces and this. And I have stamped some already. I already used them on cards and stuff, so I didn't save them to show you. but. Uh, they are easy. They do a great impression. I did emboss a couple of them. They came out beautifully. Use uh, detail embossing powder for sure. She even does them where she can put the rounded thing in the corner and then come around. Wouldn't that be cute for Christmas or something? But anyway, so I love these. And I think they were like 40 something, $40. Isn't that ridiculous? And then I bought uh, a set of her seasonal stamps. And... Um, it had seashells and that pretty uh, kind of a laurel wreath looking thing, an anchor. So I love that one. And then, oh my gosh, there's bats and Halloween and spiders. I can't wait to use those. And of course, some good sentiments. So thank, grateful for you. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. A little heavy on the thank you there. But anyway, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then leaves and teacups and pansies, which are, I had an Aunt Mamie who was my fairy godmother aunt. And, uh, violets and pansies she had all around her house so I was just real glad to get those I'm, I probably won't ever use them but if I wanted to they're right there I could use them okay now the other thing I bought uh, it's from Colorbox with the Anna Griffin labeling on it I'm trying to hold these up so the light doesn't get on them too bad was this set of seasonal colors of uh, ink pads this color is not uh, lavender but it comes out and matches the dark lavender kind of thing it's a beautiful kind of dark gray color there's three of the colors, and then here's the other three colors, and I, this is, uh, this color right here is going to be one of my new favorite colors, and this one may be my second new favorite color, but what I like is if you're ever, like a lot of times, I'm looking for a near neutral stamp, this is a beautiful color, I don't know what they call it, let's see if I can read on the back, nope, not going to be able to read that, um, anyway, but they're just beautiful colors, and it was her seasonal um, stamp pads and they're from color box so good quality and all okay now last but certainly not least i bought two kits from hot off the press paper wishes whatever you want to call them through hsn oh that's three never mind okay one of the first ones this is called floral fantasy i hope the light is not blinding you oh my gosh look at the little num, num, num. look at these things they're gorgeous shiny uh decoupage pieces that you can uh layer up or use individually. I will be using them individually, popping them up and stretching them out. An instruction sheet, of course, to get a set of stamps because I don't already have too many stamps. But I've been looking at some Altenu and some other floral stamps to use. And this whole kit, I think, was $20, $21 or $19, something inexpensive. So the stamps come with it, and I love them. Oh, my gosh. And then you get paper. Now, what's unusual to me about their paper is it comes like it comes off the printing machine. You know, it's still connected. But you get two each of the prints, so, and they've got kind of a starlight uh, look to them. And I like that they're feminine and masculine at the same, you know, kind of vintagey. My husband uh, uses his telescope all the time. I'm always looking for, uh, you know, starry paper and all. Aren't these pretty? See how that's masculine? So I'm going to be able to use this. Oh, he, fit, my husband saw this one and loved it, um, and of course he loved that one. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so you get two each of each of those papers. Okay, then, last but certainly not least with it, or second to last, you get all these dazzles. Now, they're the sheets are only this tall. Don't be deceived and think they're tall, tall. But that's a lot of dazzles. If you like dazzles, that's a lot of dazzles. 
beautiful borders, cute little black dots, and then some pretty, um, some more borders and musical notes and old Victrola uh, thing and all. So, and then she even threw in, or they even threw in, a set of five cards and five envelopes that are the little stack cards. So how cute is that? So for $21, let's say it's $21, could have been $20, I'm not sure. Uh, pretty great buy there. Now, another thing I bought from them, uh, oh my gosh, somebody throw a rock at me. Um, they had a set of stamps, and this one was like the $21 set or the $20 set. They had a set that was like twice this price. You got a few more. But since I'm never going to use them anyway, I thought, why not buy the smaller one? But what you get is these stamps, which are just darling borders. I don't know why I have a fixation right now with borders and stamping and borders. I don't know. It's something we need to look into. But anyway, um, so the beautiful borders, cute little words, um, and then you get the dies to cut them out with. So I loved it. Okay, so I bought that. And then, this is the one that's last but not least. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I bought this. I can't tell you. And again, I apologize for not remembering the prices. It was $21 or $19 or somewhere around the $20 range. And it is the Steampunk Collection from uh, Paper Wishes, Hot Off the Press, whatever you want to call them. And again, some of those beautiful foil, what do they call them? 3D foiled die cuts. Okay. Oh, I love it. I'm not saying steampunk is still all the rage rage, but it is for me. I love it. Again, you get a set of stamps. Is that a great set of stamps or what? I love these little light bulbs. I, I just, I, I love them. I love them. I love the gears. I love this. Uh, I just, I like this set of stamps. Okay. You get these foiled cut aparts. Uh, oh gosh, they're heavy duty uh, foil paper embossed. I love them. Here's the, uh, what do you call these? I just dazzles that come with that and they're copper color, which I love, and turquoise, which I love. If y'all remember it all about my Christmas, I've thrown turquoise in with my Christmas stuff the last two years in my fall arrangements, and it is stunning, in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, so again, the steampunk look, you get some chains, a couple of words, the beautiful butterfly with the clock, chains, gears. Um, you get these little dots, which I'll probably use on my Christmas pages, and some more gears, and you know, mannequin and uh, dress form, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I love this. Oh, 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 I can't wait. And then again, you get the paper that comes, um, you know, you get two each, two each, and they come still put together, which again, I think is a little peculiar, but you know, whatever they want to do it, that's their business. Um, but isn't that pretty? Pretty. Oh gosh, isn't that, I'm just quiet, you know, it's, I'm quiet because I love it so much. Isn't that gorgeous? I cannot wait to use this paper. Oh, I can't wait. So two each of those. And then, last but not least, really, really, okay, I've said that nine times, I don't guess everything's really last, is with this set, you've got four cards and four envelopes, and it's these little flip cards that when you open them up, uh, let me see if I fold it, did I do one? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know if you can see white on white, but see it does like the, you know, you fix your card up and then when it opens, it pops up like that. So that's pretty cute. Nice little extra for around 20 bucks for the whole kit. Paper, cards, stamps, dazzles, die cuts. Uh, pretty good kit. And that was my HSN haul. And I can't wait to get cutting my, I, I love Anna Griffin. I don't know why I bought all those stamps from everybody. Uh, um, Rhonda Lee, little Rhonda Lee, I might have been uh, imbibing, as you say, you know, with my favorite uh, beverage when I was watching HSN. I'm not sure, but I really overbought stamps from everybody. But I think my favorite by far are these two hot off the press kits, and the third favorite is probably these dies and stamps. And I'm, so HSN haul, Tuesday morning, a little bit of Hobby Lobby. Thank you all so much for watching. Sorry to ramble on. Please be sure and stop by my blog when you get a chance. Uh, it's iloveminialbums.blogspot.com. And, of course, uh, appreciate so much you watching and your sweet comments. Y'all have fun. If anybody needs something stamped, holler at me. Bye.